everybody. We are back with Mr. Jeffrey's Algebra 2. And believe it or not, this is the 60 subscriber special. Ah! Okay. Yes, we did hit the magic number of 60. Okay. We are really excited about that. Or maybe all I need is probably only 940 more to go to actually start making monies off of this thing. Though, if somebody is actually making monies off of this, that would be funny. Uh, did you take a picture of that? I hope you did. I hope you got the video and put it on your Snapchat because, yeah, seven in the last 28 days. I mean, I'm, I am, listen, I'm like one step out of the teaching profession totally because of this. I mean, just woohoo. So, <laughs> uh, you know, y'all probably have already seen stuff that I did in the last class. I was talking about the reciprocal where I took a student and flipped them upside down. And the, apparently they're starting a Snapchat account just for that class and things I say and do and pictures. Like I had called a lot of them out on the board when they came in. It says, yes student's name we have to learn today don't ask me about the i haven't decided on a christmas party don't ask this student's name and i try to give you as much space as i could on the handouts i'm sorry tough toodles these people so it's just one of those days all right now dividing rational expressions now this is what kills me that a lot of people ask me they're like i can't solve the equation all right, there is a big difference between an equation and an expression. An equation has this in it, also called an equal sign. Expressions do not. Okay. All right. So when we divide, we multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so that's, remember the reciprocal. Let's see if we can find a person. Loop, loop, loop. See, let's get our search on. Yeah, I am. Yeah. All right. So, somebody poisoned the water well. All right. So, if this person found a snake in their boot and they, hey, he's like me. He doesn't wear slim fit stuff either. So, um, <laughs> To find the reciprocal, we would actually flip him upside down. And that's what we're going to do. And in old school things, it's the old keep change flip. Huh? Well, yeah. Well, if the snake fell out of his boots, now they're stuck between his jeans and his chaps. And that's a whole other story that we're not going to go into today. Okay. So we're just going to move on. All right. So here's our first example. We are going to divide. So we're going to keep the first one the same. So x minus 1 over x plus 4. And we're going to change this division sign to multiplication. All right. Now, just like we took the cowboy and flipped them upside down, we're going to flip this. And it's the reciprocal. All right. Yeah, KFC, keep change flip. Wait, who said that? Okay, good. I, I thought it was the other person that never talks. Okay, I was getting really excited. <laughs> My bad. All right, so <laughs> teaching moment. All right, so remember, we can only cancel vertically or diagonally. Okay, so get your pews at the ready, and we're going to sit here and cancel out the X plus 4. Pew, pew, and we are done, and we just multiply what's left. Okay, now. Yes, this one is nice. The main reason this one's nice, we don't have to factor. Okay, and that's one of those F words that people don't like in math. Fractions, factoring, and FOIL. FOIL does it really, a lot of people don't do that anymore. That's an old school thing. Uh, some people still do learn FOIL, but that's a whole other thing. I'm not talking about tenfold like you wrap up your leftovers with. Yeah. All right. So that's number one for for all those that are actually paying attention to the board. All right. <laughs> all right. So.
So, we keep this one. We change this to multiply, and we flip this one. And whoever decided to use t as a variable, they they need to be like, give them a high five in the face with like a brick or something because it makes no sense. Oh, a hangnail that rips all the way up their arm. <laughs> okay. So, luckily for this one, we only can factor one of these. All right. So what's the GCF between 3 and 12? 3. Okay, remember that's the thing that your mind sticks on what the last thing because you said three to, uh, 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right. Now, yeah, <laughs> that, was a little, that was a little preemptive pew from the other side of the room. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, his voice right with you. All right. So now we're going to cancel out the T plus fours. Pew, pew. Now, some people will actually cross cancel with this 5T and this 10T. Okay. And you can. I did that in the last class. They're like, what the French toast? So we can actually multiply straight across if you want to. I, Sometimes with this cross canceling, it gets kind of messy. Yep, so we could actually say, you know, 3 times 10t, we get 30t. And then we 5t just by itself. And so this actually becomes 6. Yeah. This actually becomes 6. Yeah, the T's cancel, and 30 divided by 5 is 6, okay? I used to do this thing called the Paul method because that's when I taught in middle school. And I would say you take your Paul, and you cover up the variables, and you do the numbers, and then you take your Paul, and you cover up the numbers, and you do the variables. All right. Now, 3... Kind of hit that growth spurt and difficulty a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so number two was like three plus seven. This one's like, what is the square root of a train leaving Chicago traveling? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the good news is we just keep this one. All right, and we change this to multiply, and we flip this one. All right, so we have this right here. We've kept change flip, KFC, or yeah, kept flip, change, something, whatever. Whatever. All right. Yeah, don't talk about the real KFC because, you know, that scrumptious, soggy pizza I had for... And for all those that had the powdered eggs for... <laughs> Listen, I had my feel of powdered eggs when I was in the National Guard. I don't need any more. All right. So let's look at this one. All right. This negative right here tells us our signs are different. This tells us our sign, our bigger number is negative. What is the only two numbers you can multiply to give you three? Okay, good. There was a big pause. One and three. Everybody else is like taking their shoes off trying to count. Okay. All right. So, you know, teaching has its moments, and apparently that wasn't one of them. Now, uh, this uh, negative 15, this tells us our signs are different. This tells us our bigger number is positive. What are two numbers you know off the bat that well you can multiply and give you 15? 1 and 15, that's good, but that's not what we're doing. Okay. 
five and three. I like where your head's at, but no whole numbers. All right. So this right here, what is the GCF between four and 20? Close, it's four and we get five when we define. <laughs> See, I told, look, and y'all think I'm, they were like, oh, Mr. Jeffries just made something up about your mind says the last thing. No, it's true. Y'all have seen it a thousand times. You're, you're not. Yeah. 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 All right. I, I, I got what you're saying. All right. So we've got it all factored out. Now we get to cancel out. What's the first thing? What's somebody name something we can cancel out? N minus three. Pew. N plus five. Pew. 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 <laughs> so now. Yes, there are problems like this that does take a little bit of time that end up being like zero or one. I think I've told you all my high school math teacher, Great White, he was always notorious in like calculus to give us a problem that took like the front and back of a page and you would get like one or zero all the time. Oh, he did because he's as sarcastic as I am. Well, may, I think I... I'm maybe a little bit more sarcastic. I think because he's a little bit older than me or a little bit more seasoned. So, uh, all right. So are we good on number three? Yes. Okay. Everybody heard that student. All right. So, <laughs> all right. All right, so we keep this one. <laughs> we change this to multiply and we flip this one. All right, so we have this down now. And I had students that they would actually try to factor before they did the keep change flip. It never worked. Okay, I think if you were, I had you in ninth grade for Algebra 1, this was, y'all were probably the last people that did this, uh, or some of the last people that did this because uh, 2020 was COVID, and then they changed the math standards. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, nobody likes math. It's like a four-letter word. Okay. So, on the bottom left right here, what two numbers, when you multiply them, you get six, but when you add them, you get five. Three and two. Three and two. Wow, well, I had a lot of people say, answer that one. Yeah. Yeah, good job, times tables. Now, so, over here, this tells us our signs are different. This tells us our bigger number is negative. Now, eight and three. Wow. I hadn't even got finished saying it and I got people answering. Or at least one. Oh, eager. Very eager. Ooh, eager learners. Hmm. hmm. All right. Now, what's the biggest number? And think about it before you answer. That you can divide out of 3 and 12, and some people were, didn't let me finish, so that's great. It is going to be 3A. Eh? All right. So, we have it all factored. All right. Now, you good? Okay. All right. What can we cancel out? A plus four is pew, pew. What else? Pew, pew. And that's it. So on top, we're just left with A minus eight. And then three A and A plus two. And you're done. Okay. Yeah. 
the main thing I like about this is because stuff goes away. And like we had on number three, we had, you know, a lot of factoring, but sometimes the more factoring you do, the more stuff cancels. Okay. Now, for those watching, you're not going we're not going to have this recorded, but I do have to show them this in my class that I made a typo. Imagine that Mr. Jeffries never makes a typo. This is actually supposed to be an X right here. And I just decided to, yeah. So that's an X right there. All right. Again, thank you for my 60 subscribers. Wow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Good stuff. Good things. Roll time.